You wanted to see me, sir? We have a situation and it's bad. Check your email. No. Yes. Kevin insists on you and Marcus joining us for dinner at our house. But we agreed to keep our personal and professional lives separate. It is weird enough I am dating your nephew without dragging your husband and dog into it. You think I want this? Because I do not want this. Sadly, Marcus and Kevin can be held off no longer. Okay. So what's our play here? My stomach's a little off. I could say I'm sick. Well, I've used a sick excuse for you eight times. I think they're catching on. You could say you're sick. No one would ever believe that. No, this is happening. But don't worry. I have a plan to keep things from getting too personal. I'm inviting some intimacy buffers. Dinner party at your house? Oh, mama. I will be there. All I ask is that you clear the furniture out of your living room so I can show Kev some of my new dance opera. Why just some of it? Do the whole thing. Yes, nothing would make me happier. See you Thursday at 8. Copy that, Cappy 10. Later, skater. <laughs> yes, this is wonderful. The dinner's not for four days and you're already freaking out. Excuse me, did you not just hear me say later, skater? All right, fine. There's a slight chance that in the past I may have tried a little too hard around the captain. So this time, I'm gonna be super chill. Good plan. Whoa. It just says you got uninvited. What? Oh, honey. Oh, I get it. You're joking. <laughs> See, I'm cool. I get jokes. Amy says that we should start dinner without her. Then she writes whatevs, colon, hyphen, close parenthesis. Great. It's much nicer just the four of us. I mean, we can really get into it. Yeah, let's do just that. Um, so, Marcus, what uh, orchids can you name? Oh, that's easy. None. Uh, well, here are the orchids that I can name. Baclardia, Belagladis, Benthamia, Diphylax, Dipodium, Evotella. Uh, Raymond, uh, you know how much I love hearing you talk about orchids. Great. Then there's Arianxis. Uh, but... I would love to hear more about our guest. Rosa, tell us about your family. I have one. Oh, you gotta give her more deets than that. Her father's a teacher. They're from Benson Harris. Speaking of which, have they finished repairing the Hubble Space Telescope? Yes, six years ago. So, do you have siblings? I have... two sisters. I have to leave this. <clears throat> Whew, great idea. Take a breather. That was way too personal. No one needs to know you have sisters. New topic. The moons of Jupiter. I think I might be pregnant. Oh. 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 No. Are your bosoms tender? I'm gonna pretend that you didn't just ask me that. Are your senses heightened? I think I might be pregnant, not bitten by a radioactive spider. <sighs> Kevin asked me about my sister. She just told me she's pregnant, and that made me think, I've been feeling run down lately. My stomach's been weird. I just did the math in my head, and I think I'm a little bit late. Late to, uh, oh, right, right, you're, um, what if I'm pregnant? Do I tell Marcus? What do I do with a baby? How do you take care of those things? Why are their heads so soft? Before you spiral anymore, you should take a pregnancy test. Yes, smart. Immediately. Oh, immediately. Immediately. Uh, very well. I'll figure out a way to get you out of here without arousing suspicion. Now I'm regretting blowing through my orchid material so quickly. Oh, no. Are you certain we have to cut the party short? Uh, yes. Unfortunately, Detective Diaz has an unexpected emergency to take care of. All right. Uh, do you need to go as well? No, it's not quite captain-worthy. But still advanced enough that Detective Diaz's talents are best qualified to handle the, um... Non-emergency emergency. Yes, precisely. See? <laughs> She's great. I should go do that. Now. Yes. Hey, what's up? Hi. Sorry, we're so late. Actually, the party is over. What? The party is over! Oh, I see. You heard me. You were just taken by surprise. Very well, um, good night. But...